In part one of our two-part series on the Great Resignation in North Dakota, we spoke with Phil Davis, the Workforce Services Director at Job Service North Dakota. Davis told us what the agency is seeing regarding current workforce numbers. Tonight we present part two, focusing on the workforce itself and what some North Dakotans have gone through before and throughout the pandemic. I've been a full-time musician more or less in, in one fashion or another of all my life. When he was a child, Darren King says his dad made him do all kinds of things, like visit art galleries and play an instrument. It just so happened the guitar and then the double bass stuck. King was busy with performances, and then the pandemic hit. Yeah, it was kind of like someone flipped a switch that uh, myself and a lot of other musicians in the area and all across the country and the world, you know, had full calendars, a lot going on, and then it just all just kind of turned off. Fortunately, King has a second job working for a sheet music company. While he says it didn't have everything to do with the pandemic, the sheet music company he works for closed its Bismarck location, resigning itself that times have changed. The necessary thing that had to happen, and it doesn't mean we're going to call it quits. We're just going to do, do things differently, and you work smarter. Before she became a receptionist at the Missouri Valley Family YMCA, Teresa Becker had been a motel manager and a warehouse manager. She was also taking care of her grandchildren. Becker says she enjoys working in customer service because she can talk to anyone. My husband always used to say, why are you talking to that person? You don't know that person. <laughs> just like in the middle of Costco, I would just start talking to people. While she hasn't had trouble finding a job, Becker says the pandemic, with its business closures, job loss, and reopening, made it hard to hire. Some people, they would show up, and then I would interview them, you know, and then there would be sometimes I would call them back, and they'll be like, no, that job just isn't for me. And I'd be like, is there a reason why? And they're just like, no, nah, I just don't think the job's fit for me. But, and then there were some people, um, I'm just kind of scared right now of the pandemic. While there are still many job openings amid this ongoing pandemic, Becker and King both say they're fortunate to have jobs they love. These are just two stories out of thousands that could be told about working before and during this pandemic. There are still around 17,000 jobs needing to be filled in North Dakota. For help with applying to some of those job openings, click on the link in this story on kxnet.com.